My name is Mary Williams Jasicki. I live in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I was Miss Minnesota 1968. I was very shy, so entering the pageant, we had to be interviewed, we had to perform a talent. It was a great skill building experience. Winning Miss Minnesota was huge for me, and that sent me to Atlantic City for the Miss America pageant program. Probably the biggest incentive for running in the Miss America program pageant was scholarship. They offered great scholarships to finish our education, but we got more than that. My experience was wonderful. The girls were great. In Atlantic City, we had the parade on the boardwalk and a lot of activity. The protest at the Miss America pageant in 1968 was so that women could be recognized for more than just their appearance. It was a small protest, uh, maybe a hundred women, but I do believe it made a difference in bringing attention to the feminist movement. But I do feel that the pageant itself was actually more liberating to women by the scholarships and the opportunities that were offered. We were allowed to use our scholarships to go to school, further our education, seek out other professional goals, I opened my own business with Charlotte Sims Olin, who was Miss Minnesota 1967, and we opened a dance studio together, which was a huge feat for women in 1970. This year will be the first Miss America where there will not be swimsuit competition. I'm grateful for the fact that the Miss America pageant wants to modernize for the women of today. I will admit I have been waiting for them to eliminate swimsuit for a long time. I think since 1968, women have really grabbed onto issues and made a difference in the world. They've come a long way, baby, but not far enough. <laughs>